this stage you're, you know, 23 years old, 22, 23 years old. You're heading off to Manchester. You've had that moment with your grandfather, which maybe at the time wasn't as important as it is now that we're looking back on it. At that stage, what, what were your thoughts and your feelings about your father? My own father. Um, never wanted to see him. Never wanted to have anything to do with him. Never um, know who he was. Didn't, didn't, I'd, I'd, even when I was younger, I'd, I'd, um, I'd met my mum with one or two uh, men of colour uh, as, as she was trying to bring me, uh, she, she was trying to get me into the, the, the bird's nest, but I was, obviously my mum's a Catholic, and so there was one or two strings pulled there because how I ended up with in the, and I think, thank God, she put me in the, um, she put me in the Protestant um, um, orphanage, really, to be honest. Uh, but I, but I, I just, I, I couldn't understand what was happening as regards who was who, and you know, because I was told the man who brought me to the uh, orphanage was my father at one stage, and then um, and at five years of age, you're gonna, you know, didn't matter to me which which man brought me to the to the orphanage or anything like that. Because surely he was going away thinking that I, I would have hated him anyway, because he just disappeared as well. So yeah, um, if he was my father, and and I. I don't, I, to this day, I, I, I don't think he was. Um. Wasn't your mother incredibly, like, aren't, aren't mums just amazingly clever and resilient and, you know, mm. do what needs to be done to protect their children? Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I'm delighted with my mother that she, she's, because um, even, even later on in my life, she, she was, uh, my father had got in touch and said he wanted me to, fly out to um, um, Ghana, I think it was. No, no, sorry, Nigeria, Lagos. Is that actually the place, Ghana? Yeah. Would have gone to the wrong place. <laughs> um, you know, so he wanted me to go out there and she was, they were thinking about sending me out there. Well, thank God they didn't, like, because I don't know what sort of a life I would have had out there. Um, but my mum was always, um, I, I think she was very smart in, in some of the choices that she made. And even, I guess, in in your adulthood, you know, the second guessing of what if, like, for example, at four weeks old, you were brought back to Ireland and handed to the church, but your mum could have decided to stay in England at the time with you. Um, yeah, but I think she was being pressurised by yeah. a lot of the nuns over there to, to just go back. She, she just came back on the boat. She actually just hand, had to hand me over uh, on the dock sort of thing to, to the, uh, the sisters here and then go back to England. So that was the arrangement that was made with her and that's what, that's what she did. I mean, for her, like that trip over on the boat with her son, four-week-old son, and not knowing, like it must have been just incredible, you know, that day of having to hand you over and having to go back by herself, you know, and, and I suppose not knowing whether she'd ever see you again, because there was, there was no guarantees, right? No, no, she, she, uh, she, would, she wouldn't have known whether she'd ever, she was ever going to see me mm -hmm. again or anything like that. So, and that's why, I mean, we've such a good connection now, because my mum's always fought to, to see me, be it in... The foster homes that I was at first, um, eventually we all met at, at the a Catholic church, and and, uh, and I was delighted to go go with uh, go back with my mum. Yeah, I'm not feeling that I was good enough, probably, to 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 be meeting the sorts of people that I was actually seen walking around Manchester United. You know, the likes of Brian Robson would walk past you, and he'd, he'd say hello and stuff, but you'd be thinking, oh. Am I meant to, you know, it's, it's, it's the old thing of where you don't, you just genuinely don't think you're good enough. 